The Lagina brothers have long invested in Oak Island, and for almost a decade now, they have been on a quest to discover the hidden treasures of this island. Luckily, they've made tremendous progress in their search, from discovering gold to uncovering one of the most terrifying discoveries ever recorded in Nova Scotia. But a terrifying incident has made Rick Lagina decide to shut down the Oak Island search. Join us as we delve into how Oak Island has just been closed down, and how something terrifying is happening. The money pit is collapsing. In this particular episode of The Curse of Oak Island, the team encountered a significant obstacle that threatened to disrupt their progress. The money pit, an important spot in their treasure hunt, became the main focus of a serious event casting a dark cloud over their expedition. This challenging situation unfolded during season 6 in an episode titled, Voyage to the Bottom of the Senate. Marty declared that in the heart of H8, metal detection expert Gary Drayton made a noteworthy discovery among the artifacts. Excitedly, Gary assumed that it was a metal nail or spike. Fueled by hope, Jack Bigley suggested they could be in the original money pit. However, as the team soon discovered, it's wise not to celebrate prematurely. Their feelings changed greatly when someone noticed the ground around. The excavating machine sinking into the mud and vanishing. The exciting moment stopped as the team faced the sinking reality. The plan to find the famous buried treasure and historical stuff stopped. As they became more concerned about the falling money pit, Rick Lagina quickly checked the hollow ground with a flashlight to access the grounds. This unplanned problem complicated the team's mission, leaving them with more questions and fewer answers. The team's recent discovery sent shockwaves through the expedition, prompting Rick Lagina, typically the more optimistic of their Lagina brothers, to express deep concern. He revealed that there was a decent chance that the entire money pit area might collapse and their efforts would go to waste. His worries stemmed from the possibility that despite all the hard work and research, they might face insurmountable obstacles, potentially jeopardizing the continuation of their quest. The team had a problem finding a bone in the money pit before. Now they have found something else. Can they still find treasures? Or is this their end of their hard journey? Hidden Tunnel? The Lagina brothers once made a significant breakthrough in the fabled Oak Island money pit, and it was no ordinary find. Terry Mason, the geological expert, and Charles Barkhouse were captivated, closely monitoring the DN 111.5 borehole. Their sole objective was to reach the potentially lucrative zone buried between 80 and 120 feet beneath the surface. Racing against time, with hope filling the air, the entire team gathered, eyes wide with excitement, as the drilling machine penetrated deeper into the earth. Then, in a surprising turn of events, Mike Tedford, the drilling master, dropped a bombshell. At around the 90-foot mark, he had struck something significant. The unexpected revelation excited the expedition, leaving the team eagerly awaiting more information about the newfound discovery. The atmosphere was filled with suspense as they grappled with the potential consequences of Rick's earlier concerns about the stability of the money pit area. This mix of help and uncertainty highlighted the unpredictable nature of their quest for hidden treasures on Oak Island. This bombshell announcement left Charles and Terry ecstatic, their minds buzzing with possibilities. Excited to confirm the find, they questioned Mike, seeking assurance that he had indeed uncovered a space at the 90-foot depth. To their joy, Mike confirmed the presence of a significant void below, further fueling the team's anticipation and curiosity. Race to Gold Door Tunnel This revelation was nothing short of mind-boggling, placing everyone at a pivotal crossroads as they grasped the magnitude of their find. Without hesitation, Charles proposed rallying the troops and summoning the expertise of Rick and Marty, recognizing that their leadership was now more crucial than ever. The team quickly aligned on this decision, Wasting no time in action, Charles grabbed the phone and dialed Rick and Marty, who promptly responded with infectious excitement, rushing to the location. Rick, in particular, 
was ecstatic about their money pit drill program that day. The DN 11.5 coordinates had landed right in the heart of a treasure zone, amplifying the thrill for everyone involved. Rick announced that the DN 11.5 was actually within the so-called treasure zone. The treasure zone is known to have high gold values. Imagine the adrenaline coursing through their veins as they absorbed this information. It was a day filled with excitement and the possibilities seemed boundless. Rick gathered his team to discuss the recent developments, and the burning question on mind was unraveling the mystery behind the astounding discovery in the Oak Island money pit. It turned out to be a surprising revelation, contrary to expectations. According to Mike Tedford's account, the rods broke through something when the drilling reached approximately 90 feet deep. It was as if the object vanished into a space just 1.5 feet away from their reach. Imagine the sheer excitement that gripped the team at that moment. They were overjoyed. However, the plot thickened as things took an intriguing turn. Terry made a significant observation. The DN 11.5, DN 12.5, and DN 13.5 coordinates were perfectly aligned in east-west directions. These coordinates might be part of a concealed structure 94 feet beneath the surface, adding to the excitement. All alignments hit a structure at 94 feet below grade. Mike is hitting this right now at about 90, which says perhaps they were at the top of the tunnel. Now, the big question on everyone's minds was whether they had stumbled upon another segment of this structure, and if it could be connected to the nearby discovery of gold. The focus was on connecting the dots and validating Terry's intuition. The scientific evidence appeared to align with their suspicions. However, more than relying solely on intuition was needed. More in-depth research was imperative to substantiate their evolving theory. They plunged deeper into the island's core, driven by a mission to unveil the hidden mysteries beneath Oak Island. The more they explored, the more entangled they became in the enigmatic history of the island. The mere thought of stumbling upon a concealed tunnel, possibly buried deep at the pit's bottom, sent excitement through their spines. They recognized that they stood on the precipice of something profound, a discovery that could reshape everything. Anticipation for that eureka moment, a revelation capable of completely altering their perspectives, had been building. Despite facing challenges, they remained resolute, refusing to give up. They firmly believed that the answers they sought were within reach. To delve further into this captivating discovery, they were poised to scrutinize the evidence with a more profound examination. What came next? They meticulously examined a fragment of dried wood retrieved from the passageway using an X-ray spectrometer. In the revelation, Emma uncovered traces of the typical materials found on Oak Island. Materials from Oak Island had a lot of iron, manganese, titanium, calcium, potassium, and aluminium, which are all common. She pored over the results meticulously, leaving every detail unexplored. However, a fascinating twist awaited them. An unexpected discovery emerged, and it turned out to be gold. Realizing that the wood they were analyzing contained traces of this precious metal, ignited boundless excitement. It showed gold as the outlier. Unable to contain their curiosity, the team directly inquired with Emma about the uniqueness of finding gold in the results. With a light chuckle, Emma affirmed that gold was an unusual element in the findings she presented to the team. As they delved deeper into the sample analysis, they made a mind-boggling revelation. The amount of gold present was approximately 0.04% of the total weight. The money pit in the age of piracy a group of young individuals stumbled upon an extraordinary find while digging on an island off the coast of Nova Scotia. As they excavated, they unearthed stones and wooden planks that bore the unmistakable signs of human craftsmanship. This discovery ignited a spark of hope, particularly when pirates sailed the seas and the prospect of uncovering buried treasure fueled everyone's imagination. Their excavation efforts persisted revealing many planks that concealed a mysterious secret. They manually dug down about 20 feet but eventually called it quits. However, 
others took up the challenge and astonishingly continued discovering peculiar platforms and unusual objects every 10 feet they progressed deeper into their dig, at a depth of 90 feet. They stumbled upon a stone adorned with peculiar engravings. The real shocker came when, they encountered a booby-trapped shaft leading to a foot tunnel extending to the ocean. This raised, a perplexing question. Why would someone devise a trap to send a person to the ocean depths? What concealed mysteries await discovery in the money pit? Devotees of historical mysteries found themselves enthralled by the unfolding events of the Oak Island expedition. The Lagina team has anxiously anticipated progress in excavating the money pit area, hoping to finally lay hands on their elusive treasure that has intrigued generations. They held their breath with each scoop of soil, anticipating the next potential breakthrough. They dug deeper into the money pit despite its complex flood tunnel system and encountered a ladder of wooden platforms, each placed at a deliberate distance from the other, hinting at purposeful engineering. The brothers had to contend with this elaborate network of tunnels purposely flooded to bar anyone from entering the pit. They fought their water using pumps and modern techniques. The Money Pit 10X project, an attempt to probe some never before reached depths, ultimately achieved the milestone result. The brothers successfully broke through a wooden platform at the 10X level which was a significant penetration of the depths of their pit that had not been achieved in over a hundred years. As they dug deeper into the money pit, their brothers discovered a Spanish coin in a perfect state made from copper and dated to the 1650s, different from those they had discovered. The objects, whose origin and purpose remain a mystery sparked discussions about the possibility of being close to the treasure-filled hidden chambers. They retreated to the war room, carefully examined old records, and consulted with experts who suggested that the money pit might be older than previously thought. This exposed their assumptions, and made them widen the scope of their investigations and think of new theories on their purpose and who the creators of the site were. Armed with a new theory, the brothers explored a mysterious hatch near the money pit. They thought it might be a hidden entry to a tunnel network, perhaps leading to a hidden treasure. Using sophisticated technology and detailed excavation, they found a string of wooden planks indicative of the hatch's artificial nature. Nevertheless, after months of hard work, the tunnel turned out to be a blind alley, leaving them with more questions than answers. The flood tunnels, as they were referred to, were the name given to the series of interconnected tunnels discovered. Some of these tunnels were submerged in the water, pointing to a network developed mainly for drainage purposes or to hide various secret chambers. In the 10X chamber, the brothers found a treasure that might contain information about the island's history and purpose. The findings comprised an ancient hammer, a wooden chest, and possibly a Templar cross which sent shockwaves across the archaeological community. Human bones of European and Middle Eastern origin were discovered during the season, posing many questions about the former inhabitants of their island and their link to the money pit and other oddities. With the adrenaline still pumping, following the remarkable discoveries and experiences during the previous season, Rick and Marty Lagina again embarked and commenced the sixth season. Their focus was twofold go deeper into the money pit. Their journey into the money pit took them to the edge of a dangerous cliff. The 10x level had a series of wooden platforms and an intricate log cribbing system, indicating an intention to gain entry into a deeper chamber. However, their descent was very dangerous. The brothers used a specialized drill rig to avoid the treacherous descent, and went straight to the chamber. The retrieved core samples offered tantalizing clues fragments of leather, coconut fibers, and even pieces of wood that imply the presence of a man-made structure. The highlight of the seventh and eighth seasons was breaking into the hard-to-get 10x chamber in the money pit. It resulted from many years of navigating the dangerous caves under the threat of cave-ins. Finally, after many technical challenges and nerve-wracking delays, their brothers succeeded and revealed a mystery chamber after centuries and concentrated their efforts on exploring the chamber. They found the treasures in the chamber, 
Every piece telling the story of a past long gone. The hammer is ancient, its mission is unknown. It lay surrounded by wooden pieces and broken pottery. The heart of the chamber was a weathered wooden chest whose contents remained a mystery. Moreover, a possible Templar cross, marked with the indisputable signs of their legendary order, raised suspicions of a more profound link to the mystery. One of the most exciting revelations uncovered by the Lagina team occurred when traces of gold were detected in their water, suggesting the possible introduction of gold into the money pit. As the team continued their excavation at another location, they stumbled upon scattered wood fragments and an iron fastener, with indications dating back to the 1700s or even earlier. This encouraging discovery hinted that they might be closing on the money pit. However, the team encountered bedrock at around 130 feet within the B4C shaft when progress seemed to be underway. This setback proved significant as their aspiration to delve deeper into their pursuit of treasure hit an obstacle. Despite this challenge, the team maintained unwavering optimism, believing that technological advancements and innovative approaches could pave the way for future breakthroughs. The team's endeavors in their money pit area yielded evidence affirming that the treasure still lay buried beneath the surface, despite the excavation of five substantial steel shafts in the preceding months. The pursuit of their money pit remained intricate and demanding. Recognizing the need to embrace new technologies and strategies, the team faced the complexities with determination, steadfast in their hope that progress was on the horizon. Nevertheless, the discovery was accompanied by new hurdles. The collapse of the tunnel chamber resulted from unstable soil conditions which required intensive shoring and stabilization techniques. The pressure of time came in, and they had to document their contents of the chamber and retrieve the artifacts before disaster struck. Harsh weather resulting in tunnel flooding compelled them to stop their exploration. Furthermore, the unreliable island geology was another constant threat that required new safety measures and strategies. Their commitment to uncovering the treasure was fueled by the belief that their unyielding perseverance would eventually yield results. For a select few, the quest for the money pit on Oak Island held more significance than merely seeking treasure. It was about unraveling the secrets and mysteries of a place that had captivated imaginations for centuries. Thank you for watching another episode of Oak Island. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And while you are still here, click the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.